Hello everyone, in this particular lecture, we are going to install Oracle Database 19C on Windows 10. So first of all, what I will do uh, in the Google search bar, I will write downloads Oracle Database. So this is the first link which I'm going to use oracle.com slash database. Click to this link. Okay, now what I will do, I will download the latest version. Let me just close this. Okay, I will choose this version Enterprise Edition Windows 64 bit. Let me just click this. So the size is 2.9 GB. Click Downloads. So the download process, no. You have to you have to create an account if you do not have an account. I already have an account, so I'm not going to create another account. So let me just provide my username and password here. Now, this is going to start the download process. Uh, look, it, it is going to take, the size is around 2.9 GB. It is going to take some time. So I already have it in my system. So I'm going to cancel this download process. So let me just open it. So this is the Oracle database which I have already downloaded. Extract to this. Yes to all. So this will take some time to extract all the data in, in my folder. The file has been extracted. Let me show you the file which has been extracted. This is the file. Okay. Now inside this folder, what I will do, I will click the exe file, this setup.exe file. Just run as administrator yes so we are going to open this installer this is going to take some time okay oracle database 19c the process of installation has been uh, started so you have to select the first option then you have to click next desktop so since we are going to install the Oracle Database 19C on desktop machine, so I will select this. So if you are installing it on, on a server, you will choose this option. I will choose the first option. Next, uh, use existing uh, Windows user. So if you are going to use the existing Windows user, you will have to uh, uh, select this option and you have to provide the username and password. Now what I want, I want to create a new window user. For that, I need to select this option and I have to create a username. So I will create username Oracle ORDB user. Password I will select admin. I will set admin 123 will be my password. This will be the name of user. Now click next. So perform full database installation with basic configuration. Let me just change this directory. Uh, I will choose E directory, but I will create a folder here. So let me just create a folder and the name of folder will be, okay, let me choose this and I have to create a folder so folder name will be Oracle 19c select this folder okay now global database name is ORCL password I will set admin123 will be my password admin123 will be my password click next enter does not conform the oracle recommended standard i will set as it is 
instance with the specific already exist okay ors 19c this global database name already exists so i'm going to change it to orcl 19c the re reason it already exists because maybe i have used this global database name with uh, oracle database 12c so that is why this is giving me this pop-up message click next yes so the installation process has been started prerequisite checks it is going to perform the prerequisite checks now click install allow access so this is going to take some time to complete 